So now we're going to click on this Get Started button right here. And this is where we're going to pick out our plan for GoDaddy. And we're just going to keep this basic plan selected right here. And if we scroll down, we're going to keep this 12 months selected. Then we're going to click on Continue. And now this is where we're going to get our domain for our website. So you guys can type in whatever you want your website to be called and you can see if it's available right here. And if you guys are having any problems picking out a domain name, here's a few tips that could help you with it. And then once you've got your name picked out, you can just go ahead and click on Submit to see if it's available. And if it is, it's going to say yes, and you can go ahead and click on Select and Continue. And now we've got our promo code applied here, as you can see right there. Now if we just scroll down right here, we're just going to click on this Continue to Checkout button. And then this is where we're going to create our GoDaddy account, and you can just click on Continue with Email. And then you can enter your email in right here and then you're going to want to create a username and a password and then remember to make note of this stuff too because this is what you're going to log into your GoDaddy account with. And you can just click on create account. And then after that this is the billing info right here. You guys can choose however you want to pay. I'm just going to go with PayPal right here. And then after you've entered in all your payment information, it'll take you to this page right here where you can click on the complete purchase button if everything looks right. And then that's it. Like it says, congratulations on taking your first step. Now what we're going to do is scroll down here and we're going to click on this manual WordPress setup button. And now this is where we're going to create our WordPress username and password. And also make sure you guys make note of this info. You're going to use this uh, username and password anytime you want to log into your WordPress website. So once you create that, you can just click on the continue button. And then once we get to this point, you guys can just scroll down here and you can select your location that you're at. It should probably be selected already. If it's not, just select it and then click on continue. All right, and now this is just pretty much setting up our site for us. And this can take a few minutes, like it says. Could take a couple minutes, could take five. So just wait for it to load and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so as you can see, it says congrats, your site is ready. Now after that, all we're gonna do is click on the view my site button. That's going to take us to our WordPress website. And as you can see here, this is just the blank template that they put on it. And uh, what we need to do now is we need to go up to the top left corner and we need to click on the WordPress dashboard button. And this is where um, you're going to be able to control your entire WordPress website. But before we get into that, we're just going to add our domain. So if you click on this add domain button right here, it's going to take us to this page right here. And now just select your domain name and then make sure that box is ticked and then click on attach. Okay, and then once we scroll down here, you're gonna see it says we're working on updating our domain. Again, this can take a couple of minutes, so we'll just wait until that's finished. Okay, that's done. You can just uh, close this box and then scroll back up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to close these pages and then we're just going to open up a new page. And what you're going to do is you're going to type in your website name and at the end of it, you're going to type in slash WP dash admin. Now this is the address you're going to go to anytime you want to log into your WordPress site. So now once we get to this page, this is your login page, you're going to enter in your WordPress username and password that you created earlier. And now after that, you're just simply going to click on login. And like I said, this is going to be the way you log into your WordPress website anytime you want to. And that's just going to take us back to our WordPress dashboard. And now we can start building the actual website. 